First thing I gotta do is see a guy about a book. There must be some spell I can say to undo all this. The other first thing I gotta do is some cardio, because my heart is jackhammering like a quarterback on prom night. Are you in the mood to binge watch some seriously scary TV shows? We've looked back at our favorite shows that have been on the air over the last decade and come up with our favorite horror-drenched offerings for you to enjoy in the comfort of your own crypt. Here are the 10 best horror TV shows from the last 10 years. The Haunting of Hill House instantly became one of those must-binge Netflix series, imbuing a dark and deep family drama with outright horror. The show is as much about the ghosts that haunt the Crane family as it is about their equally haunting past, and it smartly skimps on the gore in favor of psychological blood and guts that delve into the adult lives of this family's children, and how their time in the house helped to make them the men and women that they are today, for better or worse. You don't have to worry now, sweetie. That really bad dream? Of course I'd wake you. Brian Fuller's beautiful drama series reimagined the iconic roster of characters from Thomas Harris's classic novels and, of course, The Silence of the Lambs. Mads Mikkelsen gives a career best performance as the charming, delectable, and deadly Hannibal Lecter, who terrorizes the local branch of the FBI while also working alongside them, whining and dining them with extravagant meals made out of his latest victims. It's one of the most haunting, stylish, and devilishly romantic horror shows of all time. R.I.P. Hannibal, you were gone too soon. What's to be done about that? CW's long-running series will reach the end of the road in season 15, and while the tone has shifted over the years to encompass everything from fourth wall breaking medic humor, Jay Ackles. That's fake me. Yeah. This must be fake mine. To a goddamn spectacular animated crossover with Scooby-Doo, Supernatural remains one of the spookiest, bloodiest, most beloved genre shows on TV. Plus, the bond between its two ass-kicking brothers and their extended surrogate family ensures that this gem has plenty of heart. What are you? I'm a fish taco. A fish taco? A fish taco. This macabre mashup features a literary dream team that includes Dorian Gray, Frankenstein and his monster, Jekyll and Hyde, the Wolfman, and Dracula himself. But it's Ava Green's transfixing performance as the beguiling medium, Vanessa Ives, that made Penny Dreadful appointment viewing during its brief three-season run. That sounds like a warning. It's an invitation. Hitting that sweet spot that lands somewhere between 1980s nostalgia, creepy fun, and genuine scares, Stranger Things took audiences by storm when it debuted in 2016, and it's only grown in our hearts in subsequent seasons as we've watched the crew start to grow up, even while new additions like Max and Robin have deepened the bench of beloved and quirky characters. Combine that with the adult cast led by Winona Ryder and David Harbour, some mysterious and freaky universe building, and yeah, some monsters too, has us eagerly anticipating the next season of Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> the Walking Dead started as a little black and white comic that riffed on a well trodden genre for horror fans and turned the concept into a cottage industry where your mom, your mom's mom, and your mother in law were suddenly into zombie gore, into the world scenarios, and of course, the human drama that is always at the heart of the best such stories. The Walking Dead has had its ups and downs in the near decade since it debuted on AMC, but it's still going strong and spawning spin-offs and movies like, well, a zombie plague that just can't be extinguished. We on the same side, Ray. Right? Will you tell me? There's nothing quite like AMC's historical horror show, which was based on the 2007 novel of the same name, which fictionalized the real story of the polar exploratory vessels HMS Erebus and HMS Terror. Playing on the primal fear of the unknown and the wilderness, the first season of The Terror is an explosively tense and terrifying, no pun intended, series focused on the crews of ships who must survive the brutal weather, a supernatural menace, and, as time creeps on, each other. A second season followed featuring a new cast set in a Japanese internment camp. This French offering is one of the creepier and more affecting picks on our list, transporting viewers to a small alpine town which was torn apart by the deaths of a coachload of school kids and their teachers. Several years later, members of the community who were killed in that traffic accident start returning alongside other dead people, none of whom seem to realize that they've been dearly departed for a while. Chilling, moving, and decidedly original, this supernatural mystery is an underrated gem. After years, decades really, of hopes and dreams of an Evil Dead 4 movie that never quite came to be, the unthinkable happened. 
Yes, something even more unthinkable than your headless dead-eyed girlfriend chasing you around with a chainsaw. An Evil Dead TV series was greenlit, and it featured not only Bruce Campbell returning to the iconic role of Ash Williams, but also the original Evil Dead producer-director team of Sam Raimi and Rob Tappert coming back to steer the further adventures of the most heroic screw-up in the history of horror. It was bloody, it was fun, and it was a long time coming. <sighs> God. Yeah, looking good. A primetime TV show based on one of the most critically acclaimed horror films of all time has no right to be as enjoyable, effective, and creepy as Bates Motel, but this psycho prequel delivers. Expanding on both the novel and the film, the series delivers chills and thrills as well as actually creating interesting character arcs for both Norman and his mother. Mother, what have you done? Vera Farmiga is a standout here, all tortured emotions and dangerously protective love. Really, Vera is an underrated horror icon and a gift that none of us deserve. You didn't kill my Watson. I did. For more horror, check out our top 10 movies of all time. And as always, stay subscribed to IGN wherever you like to watch.